again to, so behind me now I have kind of a typical oil and gas example where folks would look at complex data and, and help make important decisions in terms of where to actually drill for the oil or how to get the oil out of the ground uh, better and faster. Uh, but what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and, uh, and uh, open up a new one, which is actually showing, in this case, uh, the space station. So this is more of a manufacturing type application where folks want to look at the design of certain items. This can be used for things like aerospace and, and automotive. And uh, this is very high resolution data. And you can uh, zoom in and zoom out and look at the data in both 3D stereo. So you see the image floating in the middle of the room. And you can also see it in a very, very high resolution mono type application. I'll go ahead and close this one out as well. I just want to note, this is, this is not uh, 3D. When you, uh, when you want to really walk through, then you, you put on some uh, 3D glasses, right? Yeah. What do those look like? Yeah, what you do is you, uh, you put on these kind of inexpensive plastic glasses. These are uh, uh, Terminator glasses. Uh, in the old days, you had to have the uh, expensive, heavy, active stereo glasses. And this is what they use for, for passive stereo, very similar to what you'd see at at a, at a theme park and what you've uh, probably experienced in, in some of the movie theaters as well. Okay, and, and, then, and then there's a, there's a health or a medicine aspect too, right? There is. Uh, let me bring up one more model here. Uh, this is a good example of um, molecular modeling, and, uh, and uh, this is a uh, protein folding example where you see all the molecules right here in front of you, and you can literally walk through your data or fly through your data and take a look at this, both in mono or put on the glasses and then see it in stereo so you can uh, help make better decisions and uh, come up with uh, uh, vaccinations uh, for, for instance, the uh, H1N1 virus or, or even help uh, solve some of the, uh, the cancer issues that we have today. So it's a use for a lot of very, very important things and uh, bringing people more data to, uh, to make better and faster decisions. Now, now a second ago, one, one last question. A second ago, we were in another room a conferencing room. So, so my question is, here we are in Washington. Could you have a team in Houston, let's say, mm -hmm. and, uh, and seeing exactly, if you're giving this presentation, seeing exactly the same thing and you're uh, you know, um, aligning your, uh, your investigation together? Yeah, the, the, the world that we live in now is, is a world made up of, of lots and lots of specialists. And you want to get all the special specialists together to help make that decision. But the chances of having those people all in one room at one time is, is not very good. So what you want to be able to do is bring those specialists in to see the same data that you're seeing to then discuss and collaborate together, have the conversation, perhaps share the data from where you're sitting to where they're sitting, and, and, and make a, a decision together with all those specialists to decide the, the best way to get the oil out of the ground um, do heart surgery for the patient, um, build, build a better car, what, what have you. So you can do that through telepresence and video conferencing. And what Cybiz allows you to do is bring those two things together so you have the best of both graphics and then you have the best of, um, of the video conferencing world integrated in one collaboration system for advanced conference rooms. Thanks very much.